things they're thinking but they make them think that they're like right you know you know what I'm talking about they do that this is not candid camera <laughs> And it's like, it's funny, it's funny because they'll say yep. mean, like these things that are mean for people, but um, they phrase it to the person in a way where it's like, uh, uh, no, no they're, they're like, uh, oh yeah, the, you know, those those ones, huh, you know, like, yeah, like, uh, and they're like, yeah, I know, right? No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying the, the idea that you could say something hurtful and phrase it in a, in a weak, weak sort of way. And then have somebody um, so I think that like, respond to that like, yeah, I get it. Those N words or those, you know, those, you know, these things. Well, what's the greatest good? Well, okay, you know, that. Anyway, I just was wondering if, the, if this was a thing where, you know, it was like, uh, we're wait, you know, you wait to for people to come up here that are like secretly like, I, I like that person, I like this guy, and he's, all the mean stuff he's saying, and you know what I mean, like, and I like where his head's at as far as, you know, being intolerant of people. Yeah. of other people and stuff, and like, yeah, I'm intolerant too, and sometimes I, uh, I'm frustrated about the economic situation, and I'm gonna, f and I, f and we found somebody we can latch onto. Do you have any No, I'm just, I'm just kind of, I'm also phrasing my, my comments uh, in, in a way that, that would make sense. I don't actually know the exact specific policy on because I would have to research that. Trump is kind of like, isn't his campaign manager getting financed by Russia? What do you think of that? I don't know that it's, it's being financed by Russia. I mean, it's on the books. His name is on receiving money from Russians. Well, I know that the Clinton Foundation has received money from a bunch of countries, Iran, Syria. And because they're a non-profit, they turn it around to good for and that's, yeah, he's he's been arrested for fraud, actually, so he's not like a person that you should actually think you can trust. Oh, I love that guy. He's been arrested because he donated too much money to yeah, to a yeah, and he's, you know why he was arrested? Because it was a legal act. It was fraud. No, what about what about Trump's new campaign manager who was uh, um, It's a federal violation for his. He was he's a uh, registered in Florida for a house that doesn't exist or it's not occupied. That's illegal. Oh, well, Your guys' campaign manager is the new one is breaking laws. That's interesting. Okay. So why continue? Why is why keep supporting somebody that keeps hiring? The whole argument is Trump will surround himself by the people that can Are do the good job. Oh, that doesn't matter. Are you asking us? Like, well, well yeah, you're out here with selling with Trump, and I want to know well, why. Well, breaks the law, then you have a legitimate point. Yeah, right. right. should be pursued by the law. And it's, you did break the law. Yes. Just like, uh, what about Trump being sued by like a thousand different people for stiffing them and all of his... Well, have any of those lawsuits have resulted in convictions? They've been settled a bunch of times, which is the same thing. It's not a conviction. It's not a criminal court. When you settle out of court, that is not. It's not the same thing as a conviction. You, that just like the 1973 case where he was accused by the Justice Department of not hiring his uh, Trump Tower or residents out to black people. That actually turned out to be a settlement because Trump was absolutely out, put out a public statement saying this is not happening. And he but he settles all the time, so he doesn't get sued. And he also like takes people to court. If somebody talks bad about him, 
to take them to court because he can't, he gets his feelings hurt. Well, no, Do you want to trust that man with nuclear codes? If you are, you want me to answer your question? Or you can sure. Talk about it? <laughs> All right, so in the 1973 case, when the Justice Department sued Trump for not bringing black people, Trump is so outraged. This is a person who speaks his mind and says what he thinks all the time. Well, so he's except 70% of the things he says are false, based on the facts that he Okay, so it suits the Justice Department. What percent of things that Hillary says are false? 105%? And then when he did something out of court. I want to see what they're saying. When he did something Oh, that's this, the guy's been... Uh, uh, arrested and put in jail for fraud. So yeah, but you you know, why don't you, you let know, her make her own choice, all right? So let's she, I think she is free to do it. That's what he said. No, he did not say that. What, okay, what about, what about the judge? Now, what about the judge who he said because he's Mexican, can't do his job? Uh, he said that he has a vested interest because Trump is going to She's really researched Trump. I mean, so she's got a hundred thousand pages or something. Words on this. I'm going to ask you about the Trump thing. Yeah. 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 When you judge somebody for their race. You're building a wall with Canada and the judge is Canadian, that'd be racist. <laughs> but That's actually what lawyers, how they form what they're going to do actually, and present to the, the judge, judge is they look at the background of the previous things that they did. It has nothing to do he's with racism. He's a Mexican heritage. So he's what? not Mexican. So what? Right. It so doesn't matter what judge. somebody's heritage is. Yeah. What do you think how about they Benghazi? Rule. Trump's club. There's been dozens of federal elections. You know how many people were at, at, how many people were killed under George Bush? Like 30. And there's been no <laughs> investigation. Oh, at all. Oh, it's, I knew we'd get a Bush's fault argument. Now, whether or not that's true or not, <laughs> well, you can say that's not true. So he could be and he's running for president. The blanket statement is on your side. Was right? that statement a racist? It's another statement. Exactly, it's a blanket statement. It's a racist <laughs> statement. It's on your side. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, yes, it does. It's because he's back to the race. That's what he said. Racist. And then when, if you guys elect Hillary, anything that you criticize that she does, I mean, Trump, it's going to be because she's a woman. Oh, my God. No, no, no. You hate her because she's a woman. If a no. judge has yeah, an interest in the outcome of a case, then that judge is not going to die over there. It does not matter what he's racist. Although he doesn't have... And it wasn't it, it wasn't about the wall at all. It was about other things. It was completely irrelevant. So that's true. Uh, my brain is hurting. Sorry.